Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. The latest Hustle Mercenaries patch gave us a whole bunch of new mercenaries. And as you start to complete tasks for those new mercenaries, you will find out that, okay, I still need a lot of coins to max these. And what is the most effective way to max all of these new mercenaries? The traditional answer, of course, is go to Heroic 1 1, grind that over and over and over again, you get 10 coins per completion. And yeah, that's, that's very mind numbing. But this time there is a better solution, because the new bounties, most of the new bounties only give coins for the new mercenaries, and that opens up the opportunity to do stuff like this, which is farming the new bounties in order to get the coins. Preferably you would like to farm them in normal, the completion of a sunken city bounty in normal takes around 10-12 minutes, which means that you could weave in like 4-5 Something like that, Heroic 1 1s into that time period, which would mean maybe you could get like 50 coins from Heroic 1 1 by the time you complete one bounty. And this is actually one of the lowest trolls that I had. And in this one, 15 Vashi coins, 20 characters coins, 15 Mayev coins, that's 50 coins. Oh, look at that. And I have gotten even more coins, 70 coins from a single normal run. Whereas from the Heroic 1 1, you always get the same number of coins. So even in the worst case scenarios, as long as all the mercenaries from the bounty are still mercenaries that you need coins for, it's better to actually do normal sunken city bounties than it is to just mindlessly grind heroic 1-1. One -one. So next we need to come up with a plan. How do we optimize our coin gains from the new bounties? Well, in order to figure that out, first I made this list. So listed all the new bounties and the mercenaries that you get coins from from there. Note that Garrosh is not listed, because the Garrosh bounty also gives Garrosh coins, which you probably don't want. So that rules Garrosh bounty out, because we want all of the mercenaries to be useful. Also, the Cow level is not listed. The only new coins that you get from Cow are for Tyrael, and Cow is the only level where you can get Tyrael coins. So that means that for Tyrael, the best way is still to do Heroic 1-1. But for everything else, well, you get coins from this and that. But how do you make sense of this? So as the next step, I turned it the other way around. So I turned it so, okay, which bounties do you need to do in order to get coins for a specific mercenary? And this makes it a little bit more easy to digest, easy to start planning. Because we can start seeing from here, okay, like, brand coins, only from Crash, Show coins, only from Fizz of Nezot. Maestro coins, only from Queen Azara. Okay, Maestro coins are also from Garrosh, but you don't want to do Garrosh anyway. Girl coins from Nezot, Yashuras coins from Yashuras. So from here, we can actually start doing some planning. And this is what my planning looks like. In blue, I have highlighted the bounties that I want to complete. First of all, I started by taking all the bounties that are mandatory. There's only one bounty that gives coins for a specific mercenary. So if you want to farm coins for all our mercenaries, then we have to farm that bounty. So Kresh, Fish, Hazara, and Desot, Yashuras are included from there. And then I started to look, okay, how do I optimize everything so that for example, I don't want to do three bounties that give Slither Spear coins. I already have to do Nesot, I already have to do Yashuraj. I don't want to do Taranzu if not necessary, because that would mean that I get my Slither Spear coins too soon. And then it will decrease the overall effectiveness of my farm, because Slither Spear will become useless and those coins will become waste. So, preferably if I can avoid Taranzu bounty, I will. And that means, for example, adding Acolyte bounty for those Charger coins. And from there, I was able to come up with this one. This covers every new mercenary apart from Tyrael. Remember, for Tyrael you have to do that heroic 1-1, one, one, and no mercenary gets coins for more than two of these farm bounties, so that you don't run out of good farm bounties too quickly. So if we flip this around again, then that gives us a farming list. Okay, of the new bounties, we don't care about Siren of the Deep, Shivers, Coral Elemental, Taranzu, or that Garrosh. Instead, we focus on farming these eight. Acolyte of Nezot, Crash, Fish of Nezot, Queen Azara, Nesot, Xaril, Empress Sexara, and Yashuraj. And farming these eight bounties on normal is going to optimize the coin gains you have for all of your new mercenaries. Then there's still the matter of the farming comp itself. I prefer to farm with four mercenaries so that even if I lose somebody on the climb, it doesn't hurt me at all. So for fire, for example, that could mean Belinda with less water elemental, Ragnaros with blazing rune, get on with Mark of Conflagration, and Juicy with Blazing Band. And this would still leave room for two of the new mercenaries, so that I can also make use of the slot that gives you coins from mercenary in your party and get new mercenary coins one third of the time. If I could cut this down to just three farming mercs, then I would get new mercenary coins half of the time. 
but that really depends on your farming comp and how confident you are in not losing anybody ever. So, for most of the new mercenaries, we finally have a viable alternative to Heroic 1 1. Just do the new normals according to this farming plan. Happy farming! Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.